Now you remember that time we was chilling with that chick, and she was talking about she wanted to fuck. Remember, and then and then she then she she changed her mind. Yeah, fronting and 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 this guy. What did I do? This guy just went to fuck, he went the fuck to sleep. I laid down. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Fuck this chick. I'm going to sleep." That's what happened. <laughs> I literally said that. Those words actually came out of my mouth. I'm like, and it was like, yeah, but Pav, um, I was like, like, nope. nope. Sonic, like, he's like, I'm going to sleep. Going fuck to this. Sleep. <laughs> So did you end up uh, doing? No, nah, I ain't do nothing with her because she kept fronting, she and kept I was fronting. like, I, I, and that's me. We, we were supposed to kind of have like a foursome and shit. Right, right, right. We were was, supposed to take care of some real business. It was, it was me, business. him, and, and and two other girls, and this fucking idiot is about to crash into us. Jesus Christ! You saw how close yeah, that was? Yeah, yeah, all that fucking room. It's <laughs> <No>. crazy. <laughs> he still don't know what they doing. He don't know what the fuck. It's people crazy, I am, man. Oh my god, that's crazy. So it was supposed to be a foursome. It's supposed to be a foursome. Yo, like this that. chick came in the crib. Where did she come from? Where the fuck did she come from? We don't gotta say her name, but where she right. came from? I forgot. Like, why was she there? I don't even remember. Wasn't she? Wasn't she with somebody's friend that she was staying over or? Crashing? No, she was. She was one of our friends' friends, right? Right. And then so she came over. She came over uh, our house, hanging right. out, right? And then she spent. She was, I guess, spending the night because it was like late. And she didn't want to like take a train right. or she whatever to get ride. So like, right, right, right. And so she, she was like, and she kept. No, the thing was, she kept talking about all this. She was at this like, um, what's it called? Hedonism. Hedonism. Right. Yo, she kept talking. Yo, uh, I've been to hedonism. I'm, there you go. I'm so free with my sexuality, like right, that's you know, right. and I, and you know, and I, we done hedonism. We did this. We did that. And you know, and you're you're cute and you're sexy. And then so you know, we were we were talking. And we right, were like, yo, right. so let's do something. Right. right. And then, and then all of a sudden she was like, "I'm not sure." Right. And no, no, for, no, no. First she said she was acting like she was down for it, so everything right. was cool. We was right. getting shit ready. We, we pulled out the ready. fucking futon. Yo, and shit. pulled out the futon. <laughs> had the candles going right, and shit. Right, right. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she front and front and front. And this and is that. Now she's like, "Oh, but I'm looking for something a little bit more meaningful." Right. Oh, <laughs> and mind you, all of that talk uh, about. Hedonism sexual freeness right, and, and, and hedonism and that, shit, that shit was unprovoked right like nobody asked her <laughs> right, right she, she brought she volunteered it up. Okay. The, the and, information. and for the record nobody was hitting on her right you understand what i'm right, saying right. because again in america you got all these fives and sixes that swear to god that you know what i'm saying oh yeah 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 hot shit. right come right. on man no but the funny part was that our, our friend uh you know he <laughs> <laughs> right. He smashed. You know why? Because he he bought into her lies and well, he didn't buy. He pretended, he pretended to care about this chick. He pretended to so, care. So yep. you know, and and I, I I can't blame him. He he knew what he needed to do. He, he played he played the fiddle and got it right. And then he he fucked her. And the next day she was like basically she was basically like, oh, what's up with your friend? Do you think he's thinking about me? And you I'm just sitting there me? laughing at this <laughs> chick because this dude just played into her nonsense. This is why girls get fucked up because. They start acting stupid, and then the guys manipulate their emotions and right. just take the, the pussy, and then right. just and never, never, never call, call her again. again. Right? Because right. right. me, me, and me and her could have been friends to this day. Right, right. <laughs> we we right. could have been friends to this day. Right. I could have right. still had. A, we could have still been, and not necessarily together or nothing, but we still could be cool. Right. right. But because you, 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 you pulled a fucking one eighty. Right. I went to sleep. Right. Uh, I'm not. I don't fuck with people right. who. Say they about this and they about that, and then when it comes time to show and prove, it's like, oh well, I'm I'm not sure, and maybe, and no, I can't fuck with you because you the type of person that's gonna say some dumb shit and get me in trouble. Right, right. And you then know you know, you know, it's the funny part is that my friend, what he did was he was like, oh, I'm not that, I'm not about that either. I'm about you know something special and blah blah blah. I'm so, about the connection. I'm about the connection. Yeah, so so yo, he he see, so he stood up, he stayed up with her. And right. talked to her. He talked with her. She said that they cried together. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, they cried together. Woo. They shared things. And it was all a fucking lie. And this all is why it. you ladies Wait, get messed Wait. up because y'all yeah. yeah. always believe in the nonsense. Because guys are just saying things because they want to fuck you. Mm. Instead of just being real and honest and just being about what you're about and, and, and all this other shit, guys got to lie. Yo, and, the, you nigga, know. the nigga cried with her, son. He cried. Yeah, he cried, son. <laughs> He's like a, the, he's the a, dude, the dude that because we're not we're not using no name. Right. But the dude that we talking about, right. master, master, oh, wow. master, master of, of like like if 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 Mr. Lucario had to say where he got a lot of his shit right, from or right, most of his shit right, from, right, right. this is the dude. Right. Okay. This is the Yoda. But see, right, he's, no, no, right. he's better than me because I'm the idiot 
that tries to be honest with women. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the, I'm the asshole trying to be honest with women, right. you know. And this guy was like, You're "Fuck that!" Crying with her, huh? right? He's yo, wow. He was like, huh, 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 <laughs> and scene. <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, and, and this chick was shit. all over him, like, "Fuck with us," kept bugging us about, right. "Yo, have you heard from, from him? <laughs> Is which his number again?" Together. We and you know, and, and, right? And you know, I didn't have the heart to tell the chick right. that she just got played. Like, right. I was like, "Oh, maybe he's busy today." Maybe. <laughs> And I knew yo, exactly. Right? I knew exactly what happened. Me, me, I, me. I was looking at her like, yo, don't say nothing to me. Don't, don't <laughs> wow. say nothing to me. You, you had your chance. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing to wow. me. He actually was able to summon up tears. That's what yes. I'm saying. Whoa. This is the Yoda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, this man. This man. One night. One night. We was leaving wow. this poetry slam, right. and he actually did a poem. Okay. That night, cause it was a, it was an open mic slam. Right, right, right. So he he went on there, and did his thing, killed mm -hmm. it. Had you know, it gave one of those po poems about sex and this and that. Right. Had all the ladies in the spot going crazy, right? Mm. We leave in the spot now. Me at this time, I was super wet behind the ears, right? Right, right. But he saw a group of chicks leaving the spot like a little bit ahead of us, mm -hmm. and he told me, "Oh, yo," he kind of nudged me. He was like, "Yo, Pav, go get you know, go." Tell them girls over there I got I got something to tell them. Mm -hmm. And me like a dick, I didn't even realize what was really happening. Okay. Basically, he was he was using me as a vessel to kind of right. make everything right. come bridge, down right. to, to, the to bring the, the right. group of girls to us. Mm -hmm. So and I sincerely, my nigga, <laughs> like I went up to them, ran up to them like a little kid, like, hey, excuse me, ladies, um, my friend, <laughs> you know the guy <laughs> right. who just did the, the 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 open mic poem about sex? He he wanted to talk to you guys for a second. Wow. Wow. But, so the nigga gamed me to go spit game. <laughs> and then we was right. hanging out with the girls for the rest of the evening. Wow. Just, 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 you know, the area we was in was around NYU. You know, okay. that, that, right. um, the Astor place, that whole area. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah, we was yeah. all just walking around, right. chilling, talking. Right. I met, I met, I met one of the, I met one of the significant, like, you know, you know, females in mm -hmm. my life. I, mm -hmm. I met a significant female of my life that night because of that. Okay. Right. So okay. when, I, when I say the Yoda, I mean, this is the Yoda. Because wow. this kid, <clears throat> he was blessed to, um, you know, blessed give or take. Because, you know, he had, he, had a, he had a funny family life. But he lived and grew up in Asia. Mm -hmm. Like, he saw the world at a okay. very young age. Okay. Um, I, think, I think his family was military or something. Mm -hmm. So he was all around the globe. Right. He knows, like, three different languages. Like, oh, shit. He's, he's, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. He's there. And when it comes to women, that's the easiest thing. Okay. Like, <laughs> this nigga's on, he's, he's fuck, right now, he's fucking with politics. And he's, he's, he's fucking, he's shaking hands with Obama, like, every other Monday. Like, <laughs> wow. that's the type of dude he is. Okay. You understand what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So... <laughs> Women, that's the easiest Easy, thing man. for him. Right. So when it was time to, for him to cry and get the drawers at night, that shit was like nothing. That shit was nothing. Cry. He cried with wow. Shorty. <laughs> he cried with Shorty. And she ate it up and gave him and gave it to him. See, now I would have took it to I couldn't have cried. <laughs> I could have. I could have. If she would have cried, I could have held her while she was crying. No. Nah, he cried. But I would not this have nigga, cried. This nigga shed him. tears. You he know. shed tears on command. <laughs> that's that's what it is. And chicks gotta know this is how far dudes will go. Right, right. Yes. To, to this is how you. far dudes will go to get you. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Pretending that they care. Yes. <laughs> that's yes. all right over there. Kind of yes. slim, but it's, that's all it's, right. It's amazing because it's how a guy will say whatever it takes. Whatever. The main strategy of men. Is say what it takes, do what it takes mm. to get that ass. By any means necessary. <laughs> any means necessary. Yo, oh yes. man. Yes. If oh, it takes man. a little tear, if it takes a song, you know what I mean? Whatever the woman is into, mm -hmm. right? you know what I mean? Yep. He's identifying with it. You yep. know what I mean? Yo, and, and, and that's the thing, like, women, they don't. Be, okay, the thing is, because they're controlled by their emotions, mm -hmm. to to win with them, all you have to do is be a is be a decent listener. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Because all right, even I I'll give you an example. The other day, man, because again, my time is so important mm -hmm. to me. I'm you know I, I guess you know you could call me a selfish bastard, or whatever. So this chick, you know, 
I was vibing with her, talking to her every once in a while, but I would like, I would like not, not even text her, not a hi, not a hello, nothing. Mm -hmm. But when I wanted to, to see her, I would just mm -hmm. be like, yo, what's going on? I want to see you. Mm -hmm. So she started to get kind of hand like, oh, you don't show any interest in me, this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, I think I have to, I think I have to listen to that because that was her number one complaint with what was going on between me and her. Okay. So then finally, I start to text her a little bit more right. and, you know, you know, give it a good mornings and how was your days and mm -hmm. all of that cool mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. And way more receptive. Oh, yeah. Way yeah. more receptive, way more cooperative. And so you have to give and take. Yeah. You have to give and take, but you have to listen. So and that's what happened that night. My man listened mm -hmm. and understood that. Because basically what happened was she came up in the spot. We was all there. Everybody was good. Something, some, some type of pain was happening with her that night. Right. Mm -hmm. And she was boasting about her sexual freeness, mm -hmm. but it wasn't genuine. Mm -hmm. She was, she was reflect, uh, deflecting some type of pain that she was having. Okay. And my man, because again, he's the Yoda, right. he listened, right. but to a whole nother degree where right. he knew she was feeling some type of pain mm -hmm. and was able to connect with her on that pain. pain right. Once he connected with her on that pain and shed a couple of tears and made her feel like, like he was really there with and for her, right. the drawers dropped. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. with me, I was dead I was dead honest. I was like, oh, you've been to hedonism? Oh, you sexually free? Oh, well, let's do this. Right, you weren't right. <laughs> I'm See, totally... You, were, you weren't listening to her feelings. I ain't listening. You, you gotta listen to their feelings, Path. I'm listening to what you're saying. <laughs> like, I'm straight logical. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, oh, word? That's right. how you get down? So let's get down. Right. But that's not what she really wanted that night. Mm. And my man... My man picked up on it and caught it. Son. Right, right. Yeah, he and, caught and, the pass hard. Yeah, as you said, the thing with them is that they want someone to listen. As you asked me, how how do I stay in rapport with them? Yeah. Because half the time, all you have to do is just listen and reflect. Yep. In the sense of, you know, you're talking to them and you ask them a question and they'll just they'll just talk. And then you just pick up on a couple of words they say in the cues, and then he and, just and then right. you know, reflect it, say that back to them. So you, you say it that. back to them. And right. then boom, 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 boom. They'll give you it's, another five. It's like the minutes. it's like the breadcrumbs for Hansel and Gretel. Like right. they they giving it to you to yeah, find yeah. to find your way to find your way to yeah. your way back to the crib. Yeah, right. that's it's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. Listen, I get a lot of people that have problems and issues in their dating lives, and the reason why that happens is, is that most people, when they try to learn how to date and step up their dating game, they think it's something that's gonna happen overnight, they think they're gonna learn this magic formula, and then it's just gonna poof happen just like that and that's not how it works and this is why you might be having problems in your dating life so what I did is I created the Mr. Locario membership program so in this membership program you get 45 to 90 minute audios and videos that will help you step up your game detailed how-to dating advice every month so when you join this membership you're gonna get these audios and videos every month so you will over time know how to step up your dating game and really get what you want check this out Okay, so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to join the Mr. Locario membership program. So first you go to MrLocario.com. On the home page, you click on the members tab. Then it's going to take you to this page where you say, where it says men click here to sign up. Then right here, you scroll down, it's going to tell you all about the membership. It's going to tell you what you're going to get. So the first month, you're going to get the easy way to date online for men. Second month, we put up the ultimate five-step guide to getting over approach anxiety. Third month, you get how to attract women using direct game and much, much more. So every month, you're going to get a new program every month forever. So then you click here, you go to PayPal, and you join the membership. Now, once you do the PayPal, you're going to get a password. Once you get your password, you're going to go back to MrLocario.com on our homepage. You're going to go to Members, and now you're going to go to Men's Login. I'm going to give you a password and you're going to put your password in to log in to the membership. Now, I already logged in, so now it takes me to this page. So, as you can see, the easy way to date online for men is the audios. It's going to tell you everything you need to know. The ultimate five-step guide to getting over approach anxiety. The audio that's going to tell you everything you need to know. How to attract women using direct game. The audio that's going to tell you everything you need to know. And as you can see, all of this is on one page. So if you join today, you're going to get all of these that are up right now. You're going to get all of these. And then every month, 
you're going to get a new program, okay? So that's how it goes when you join the Mr. Locario membership. See, it's that easy to join the membership program. Now, listen, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Now, the good news is, is that if you do join the membership, you're going to end up getting a whole bunch of hot girls. You're going to be able to go up to any girl you want, talk to her, know what to say, how to say it, get these girls attracted to you, all that good stuff. Now, the bad news is, is that if you don't join the membership, you're going to be doing exactly what you've been doing already. You're going to be staying at home alone on Friday night. You're going to be scared to get rejected. You're going to have approach anxiety. All these things that's stopping you already is going to keep continuing to happen if you don't join the membership. So now, look, the choice is up to you. I hope that you choose the right choice. Choice to step up your dating game. All right, so this is Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. Mr. Locario, Mr. Locario, Mr. Locario, Mr. Locario, Mr. Locario.